Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition of First Gear. I'm your host, David Fedor. We're here today at the Pittsburgh Auto Show. Before it even opens, it's going to be this weekend, but we got a sneak peek of the floor, and we're walking around, and we found a special vehicle that we really want to showcase, and we really want to show off. It's a custom build by the students at WyoTech, the Blairsville campus, locally here in Pittsburgh. It's a 2016 Ford Transit vehicle made to look like a 1976 shagadelic cruising van. This is First Gear, let's take a look. All right, so just like our regular First Gear episodes, we're gonna take one lap around here before we take a look at the inside. And trust me, you're gonna to wanna to see the inside. Right off the bat, you can see the Ford Transit van all customized in the front, proudly displaying the WyoTech 50 Years logo. Again, this was built as a custom job by the WyoTech team of students to make it a retro look, a retro feel, and I gotta say, I love it. I love these stripes going up the side of the vehicle. And check out this dome window. Pretty sweet. And then the back, you can see it's customized again. We have the WyoTech logo. Looks like we have slatted things over the back. All right, now we're here with Harry Wyman of WyoTech, and he's actually one of the ones responsible for this van. Harry, thanks for uh, showing off your van. Awesome, awesome job. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, this was a van that was uh, basically a concept that we uh, that we uh, did back in, uh, in 2016. We got the van in July, and the whole concept behind it was to get it done for the SEMA show in Las Vegas in November. And so this was all done at the uh, Blairsville campus uh, with graduates, students that were currently there, and actually uh, instructors at the campus. Okay, and the, and the inspiration was taken off of one of these ads for an old uh, transit van back in the 70s, is that right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So the, um, the van in the 70s, they built the van and, and the uh, Pinto wagon together uh, in 1976. So when we thought about the concept of what we were going to build, uh, we took the picture, looked at it, said, let's build a brand new transit. And everybody thought we were crazy. <laughs> we thought we were going to do this thing, you know. But it turned out really uh, out of control. I, I, we're just so happy with it. Yeah, it's amazing. I love some of the details, like the, the like the wooden uh, separators there. Like, you'd see yeah, that. In, like, there. I'm pretty sure my grandma has a wall like that in her, in her <laughs> basement. Yeah. And yeah. then the disco ball. And actually, the disco ball revolves. I can turn it on for yeah. you if you want to see it. Oh, sure. Yes. Oh, wow. So we got a revolving disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> we thought of everything when we did the darn thing. And it also has some updated tech, obviously, with the speakers and everything. Tell me a little bit about what you have in there. Okay, so uh, Rockford Fosgate was a partner of ours, and they uh, donated all the speakers. So there's 20 uh, mid-range tweeters and regular speakers, two subwoofers, 2,600 watts of power. Uh, it, it'll just rock and roll. It's unbelievable, the stereo system. Uh, we have a... We have a uh, uh, a wireless uh, telephone charger on the on the dash there or on the console. Uh, it's got three drop-down TVs, two power centers in the roof. Uh, so we added some modern technology. So we kind of put the old with the new yeah. and uh, created this uh, this crazy van. And, I and I have to congratulate you on your choice for going with the vintage hula dancer and not know some newfangled hologram hula dancer. <laughs> exactly. They got the classic. And how about the carpet? Tell me about this shag carpet. Well, actually, the shag carpet, and I won't give a picture of where I got it at, but it was just something I came up with. But that was kind of the whole concept behind it because they had shag carpet. So the actual name for it is the Shagadelic Cruising Van. And uh, so it's really cool. The other thing is this is not just something for show. This thing will go. Yeah. Uh, it's got a twin turbocharged 3.5 EcoBoost from Ford, which is regular from the factory 320 horse at the engine, right? Okay. We had SCT tuning come here to our school. We tuned it on a dyno, and it is now pushing out 320 horsepower at the rear wheels. Wow. So this thing's basically about 400 horsepower right now. So this thing runs like a... <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. It really goes. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you today. I really appreciate hey, it. Thanks for stopping by. Awesome job. Very thanks, cool. Thanks. Yeah. So, Pittsburgh Auto Show. This weekend, check out the van build by the WyoTech team, the Shagadella Cruising Van. I bet you once, once this weekend is going and hopping and this place is full of people, they're going to have all these lights on. They'll probably be blaring the disco music. You'll be over here dancing to some Bee Gees. It'll be the best thing, coolest thing ever. Thanks for watching. This has been a very special edition of First Gear.